eight, eight, start seven, six, main five, engine start, four, four three, two, yeah, one, start. zero. And we have liftoff. Liftoff. Let's go. Uh, well, the Boeing four, Delta IV rocket five, carrying the discus 3D6 satellite marked for second. We will be watching on channel four and four and four four away. And the 301st Delta mission into space. Good levels on all first stage missions. Delta plus 30 seconds. Mark Levine calling out the telemetry like data that's to that's confirm that there are milestone events during the flight. Sonic boost. All personnel so far, no issues being reported. Stage engine controls looking very smooth. The first milestone coming up will be the Delta IV rocket breaking the sound barrier, traveling at approximately 720 miles an hour. That happens at 82 seconds into flight, in about 30 seconds from now. Uh, 60 seconds. 60 seconds. We're starting to see a little bit of disturbance as we approach Mach 1. That's normal. data continues to look good. Same normal activity. Plus one minute, 20 seconds. And there's Mach 1. Very light attitude disturbance okay. as, as we uh, go through the, the Mach. The reached the speed of sound, yeah, broken the time. sound barrier. Coming up, our next milestone will be Max Q. Up on Max Q. Data is still looking very smooth. Plus one minute, 30 seconds. Normal that will give the maximum dynamic sound. pressure on the vehicle. Vehicles flying down the center of the range corridor, now at an altitude of 7 miles, downrange 27 miles, and a velocity coming up on 2,000 miles per hour. First stage data continues to look good. Once again, Mark Levine calling out the flight data to confirm each of the Very miles. light uh, attitude disturbances as we head up into the upper atmosphere. Plus two minutes. This is Delta Launch Control at L plus two minutes and counting. In another minute and a half, the rocket will initiate booster system. throttling. The idea is to reduce the main engine thrust to 57% due good. to the tremendous reserve power of the Rocketdyne RS-68 main plus engine. Seconds, now passing the RS-68 will fly at this power until main engine cutoff or meter. Miles miles and a velocity of 3,100 miles per hour. Before now flying down the center of the range track as expected. From time to time, you will be seeing images from one of the four cameras placed on board the Delta IV rocket. The cameras provide Delta engineers with yet time. another tool for monitoring the so health of the vehicle as it continues in orbit. And the control system has there is uh, one of the cameras the now from on board the vehicle. Two of the cameras face the aft section, two others pointed forward, plus looking three at the fairing in the spacecraft. Now, plus plus three minutes and continuing block. into the mission. Boost phase chill down has initiated. Booster throttling will begin in about 30 seconds and drop the thrust to 57%. And that will be followed by MECO, that is the main engine cutoff, occurring at 4 minutes and 20 seconds into flight. Up on T plus 200 seconds, everything still looks normal on the first stage data. So flying down the center of the range corridor, passing an altitude of 40 miles, with a downrange distance of 110 miles and a velocity of 7,000 miles per hour. L plus three minutes and 34 seconds. 35 approaching Nico or main have. engine cutoff. Main engine throttle down. 340. Throttle, throttle down. Throttle down engine. to 58% uh, as expected. Data looks good. You will up on T plus 230 seconds. You would like to be able to see uh, at Nico. Uh, we have also started our LA first stage separation. Down. That came in second on time. stage ignition and fairing jettison through the onboard cameras. Those events occur within about 35 seconds of each other. Bell plus four minutes and counting. We're very close to Miko. Eleven seconds after Miko, the first and second stage of the Delta IV will separate. Another ten seconds after that, you will see the two halves of the ferry protecting the discus satellite jettison. We have main engine cutoff. That is the one of the major milestones on this flight. First and second stage separation of the Delta IV rocket coming up next. Separated the stages, Stage and the separated. nozzle is extending at this time. 437. You can see nozzle the nozzle extending good. now on the second stage. That will be followed by yeah, ignition. We have LH2 and locks pre-start. There's the igniter, and thrust is up. And second the fairing stage jettison ignited. will be next. 
Now you can see on the real-time animation second stage data looks good. Uh, that it shows the uh, fairing over the satellite plus five minutes has come apart and jettisoned. The Delta IV second stage and the viscous 3B6 satellite will now continue on with the journey into orbit. The U.S. Air Force tracking station in Antigua will acquire a signal from the Delta IV in about two minutes' time. The next major event to occur will be SECO-1, that is the second stage engine cutoff. This will occur at approximately 14 minutes into flight. This is Delta Launch Control at L plus 5 minutes and 30 seconds and counting. 